I'm a part of Team Gateway to Array, a team of senior bioengineers from Rice University. I'm tasked with creating a novel new video learnoscope that will aid towards the easier, more intuitive, and quicker intubation process of intubated patients. Components of an intratracheal intubation, there's upper airway anatomy. Basically, there's two major tubes. Uh, we can simplify it to that. The esophagus and the trachea. The trachea in this position is above the esophagus. Um, what we need to do is we need to put this tube into the trachea um, and not into the esophagus. That way we're getting air to the patient's um, lungs. So in order to do that, we have a laryngoscope and we have um, an endotracheal tube, which I'll open now. So kind of the first step, we have our monitor here, is to position the patient's head and then insert the laryngoscope and then it is as simple as getting this insertion in. Laryngoscopies are the third most common procedure performed in U.S. hospitals. They're performed millions of times every single year, and yet, to this day, 18% of all endotracheal intubations with laryngoscopies are considered difficult. When this procedure is considered difficult, um, the patient is at risk due to not having access to air, and so that comes with risk of stroke and potentially death with hypoxia. And to be honest, this technology has not been innovated much since it was first, made, first invented in 80 years ago. Um, so laryng laryngoscopes largely look like this. In this context then, given how prevalent that this procedure is performed, we really believe that there is a huge need for innovation in this sphere. The mission is to do something that works for a wider variety of patients, different physiologies. It's accessible, it is um, more functional, and it actually applies to a wider patient population. This project really has a broader scope past even the current COVID pandemic we're in. This is a tool that's used in so many procedures on a daily basis, and not only um, just like hospital scenarios, but also emergency situations too. And so this is gonna have such a broader reach than what we're even doing now today. And so I think that's really um, exciting and um, really invigorating as well as we push towards the end point of this and sort of gather information to pass on to the next people that work on and carry the baby of this project.